Okay, good morning again, ABM and guests. So let's proceed na to our next lesson, which is the competition and market structures. So when we say market structure, dito yung, ito yung mga monopoly, perfect competition, ayan, yung mga oligopoly. And, and, um, actually, parang uh, sa mga lessons dati, parang tatlo lang naman siya. Ayun, baka medyo merong, meron pa tayong ibang competitions or market structure na makover. Pero mainly, monopoly, oligopoly, tsaka perfect competition lang naman siya. Okay. So, we have... The industry or market, a collection of firms, each of which is supplying products that have some degree of uh, substitutability to the same potential buyers. Yan. So when we say market, pag sa marketing, actually when we say market, ito yung mga tao eh, na nabili or tinatawag ng target market. Pero sa economics, when we say market, Ah, uh, ito yung place kung saan uh, maraming mga nagbebenta naman. So we have common buyers for sellers, common sellers for buyers and then relatively homogeneous product. So we need to discuss the basic conditions and then after that the market structure. And actually, um, di na natin kailangan pang i-discuss yung conduct. And actually, basic conditions and market structure lang naman tayo. And then lastly, yung mga uh, yung performance ng isang market. Okay, so basic conditions. Yeah, we have the supply. Yeah, like raw material, technology, product durability, value, weight, business attitude, unionization. For demand, we have the price as elasticity, rate of growth, substitutes, marketing type, purchase method, cyclical and seasonal character. So, um. Ang importance nito sa competitions, maaring madiscuss natin mamaya. Yan. So, sa supply, sa raw material, anong, um, anong importance nito sa competition, sa market structure, bakit siya monopoly, bakit siya oligopoly, yan, and bakit siya perfect competition. Same with, din, same with uh, demand. So, market structure, ano nga ba yun? Those characteristic of the market that significantly affect the behavior and interaction of buyers and sellers. So, for market structure, we have the number and size of the sellers and buyers. Yan kung malaki yung um, kung kung malaki yung ano yung number ng sellers and buyers. Kung ano yung type ng product, nakadepende rin kung ano magiging competition nun or market structure, conditions of entry and exit, transparency of information. Okay, when we say perfect competition, and many and small sellers so that no one can affect the market. Yan, homogeneous product. Kung baga, iisang product lang yung binibenta. Free entry to exit from industry. Transparent and free information. Yeah, so we have the pure monopoly naman. Yeah. Only one product in the industry. I mean, only one producer in the industry. 
meron ba nun, for example, uh, sa isa, sa industry ng, ano, ng IT, siguro yung Microsoft, parang sila pa lang naman atay nakakapag-produce ng ganong klase ng product. Ewan ko yung Google kung makakapag, ano sila, makakagawa sila ng, katulad ng mga software, like PowerPoint, ganyan, or yung mga Windows. The product does not have close substitute. Kumbaga parang, ayun nga, sila lang kasi yung nagpo-produce nun, no? Ayan. For example, Meralco. Ayan. Ganun pa bang ibang nagpo-produce ng kuryente? Siguro meron, pero sobrang mahalik yung mga, ano na, yung binibiling, uh, ano ba yun yung nag, ano ba yung tinatapat sa araw para makapag-generate ng, ng ano, ng, ng kuryente. Ayan, yung mga solar panels. Ayan. Yung mga hydro din, yung mga through water. Pero sobrang bihira, no? Kasi sobrang mahal din ng equipment na yun. Okay, so ngayon, for sa kuryente, ang, ano lang natin, ang, ang supplier lang talaga natin ay Meralco for Manila. Ewan ko lang sa ibang, ano, ibang, sa mga province, diba ata ang supplier nila eh. Blocked entry. Yan. So, for monopolistic competition, many and uh, small seller differentiate, uh, uh, differentiated product, free entry and exit, transparent and free information. So, for oligopoly naman, we have tight oligopoly, a few big firms in the industry with comparable market shares. Dominant firm oligopoly, one of the big firms in the industry is recognized as the price leader. For example, nito ano ba yung ano yung mga nag uh, ano nag uh, yung mga price leader. Siyempre yung mga malalaking industry, for example, yung mga San Miguel, Unilever. Ayan, sila yung nagse-set ng price ng mga basic needs eh. Pero with the control of the government. Ayan, so oligopoly pagmamay-ari, parang ano yan um yan na, hawak na yan ng mga malalaking industry. Sila yung nagsiset ng price. Pero normally yun nga, with the control of the government. Homogeneous or uh, heterogeneous oligopoly. Significant barriers to entry to and exit from the industry. Yeah, meron din significant barriers to information. Siyempre, yung, yung ingredients, yung formula, yun, especially sa Coca-Cola, di ba? And oligopoly yun kasi parang sila yung nag-set ng price ng ganong klase ng product din. And then, siyempre, yung formula nun, ayan, hindi yun basta-basta ipinamamahagi. Actually, alam ko, sa buong mundo, dalawa lang ata yung nakakaalam ng formula ng Coca-Cola. And yung dalawang tao na hindi sila pwedeng magsabay ng, na mag-travel kasi, ayun nga, if it, kunyari, sa plane, ayan, dapat magkaiba sila ng plane pag nagbabakasyon. Kasi mamaya pag, pag nat, natigok yung isa, wala na, wala na yung formula ng Coca-Cola. So alam ko, dalawang tao lang yung nakakaalam ng formula nung, ano, nung Coca-Cola na drink na yun. Kaya sobrang ano siya, 'di ba? Parang sobrang hirap gayahin. Like nung RC nung mga ano, yung ibang soft drinks. Merong something talaga sa Coca-Cola. Entry, ayan, entry into an industry or or to a segment of an industry can occur because there is the novo entry or take over from outside the industry. Development of, the, of technological similar firms who develop their product range. Ayan, syempre, yung technology na ginagamit ng uh, firm na yun to produce that product, hindi rin basta-basta, maaari, ganun. Uh, transparency of brand names across sector. Syempre, hindi ka din talaga basta-basta makakapag um, put up ng brand na kasing lakas ng mga existing na brand. Yan. For example, kalalaban, uh, lalabanan mo yung San Miguel, yan, yung mga uh, Unilever, Johnson Johnson, 
So, medyo mahirap-hirap din yun. Yan, SM. Though ngayon, medyo nilalabanan na siya ni Villar. Yung, ano ba yun, yung all days ata na market. Basta Villar, ayun, medyo ano na rin siya. Um, lumalaban na rin siya sa SM. Kaya niya nang tubabi, kaya nang itabi yung mall niya sa SM without, ano, um, tawag dito, without threats. Yan, kasi lahat ng tinatabihan ng SM nagsasara eh, di ba? Yan, so, medyo malakas ang, ano, ni, ano, ni Villar. So, kahit natabihan niyang SM, hindi siya nagsasara. Visible yung, ano niya, yung pagpapatayo niya ng mall. Okay? So, an increase in import penetration. And again, the scale of the firm involved is important here. So, syempre, may mga, may mga raw materials and ingredients na ini-import at hindi rin yun basta-basta. Syempre, kailangan meron kang um, supplier, meron kang connection outside the country, lalo na pag yung ingredients na yun eh, na, na, so supply, na so supply from other country. Barriers to entry, structural barriers, barriers. We have the high capital cost. Yan, syempre yung mga machines and equipments. And yung, syempre kakaiba din yung product na ginagamit nila, yung mga raw materials. Economies of, uh, of skills, product differentiation, and brand lo loyalty. So syempre marami ng mga, mga consumers na loyal na sa, sa mga established na companies, no? Like, yan, San Miguel, Unilever, lalo na pag sa mga basic goods natin. Pag hindi mo naman kilala yung product, hindi mo naman siya basta-basta gagamitin, di ba? High switching cost, ownership and control of key factors or outlets. We have the strategic barriers. Limit pricing. Ayan, syempre, meron na tayong price leader eh hindi naman tayo basta-basta makakapag um makakapag-set ng price higher than that. Si so, syempre, bakit pa bibili ang consumer bago ka lang naman sa industry eh mas mataas pa yung presyo mo. Unless kung makapag-provide ka ng um ayun, feasibility nung product na yon na mas maganda siya compared dun sa product na pinroduce nung mga established ng companies. Excess capacity, and then vertical integration, sleeping patents. Yan, syempre may mga patents and patents, meaning, um, kumbaga mga copyrights din to eh. Ayan. Or for example, meron na silang na-invent na formula ng isang product, sa kanila na yun. Ayan, so hindi mo pwedeng gayahin yun, kundi makakasukan ka. Predatory pricing, ayan, syempre yun nga, may mga price leaders na tayo. So, syempre, yung cost ng pag-create mo ng product, mas maganda kung mas mababa para makakasabay ka sa pag, uh, pag-set mo ng selling price with the other established companies. Tying sales. And, yan. So, we have institutional barriers din. Yan, syempre, yung patents nga. Regulations. So we have alternative market structure, the four market structure, ayan nga, yung perfect competition, oligopoly, monopolistic competition, and then oligopoly. So yun, ayan, pag-compare-compare natin sila in one graph or one chart. So we have the perfect, uh, perfect competition, monopolistic competition, oligopoly, and pure. So sa so number of firms, yan, uh, very many. Yan, madami sila, kumbaga, um, marami yung klase ng firm na ganito. So, actually, pero parang hindi nag-e-exist yung perfect competition eh. Parang kumbaga, ito yung pinaka-ideal, pero hindi siya nag-e-exist. No? Kasi syempre, ito, ang, when we say kasi perfect competition, marami yung buyers, marami din yung sellers, pero hindi apektado yung price. Yan. So, bihira yun, bihira yun yung ganun. Or parang hindi talaga siya nag-e-exist, kumbaga parang ideal lang siya. More likely monopolistic oligopoly tsaka more pure monopoly lang tayo. 
So, so oligopoly naman, few lang yung ganito. Siyempre, yung mga established yan na, ano, na company. And then, pure monopoly, isa lang. Yan, malal- malalaman natin kung sino yun. Pili ko, ano yun eh, yung Microsoft ata yun. Siya lang ata yung nag-iisang ganun. Pinaka-best na example sa pure monopoly ay yung Microsoft. Uh, free uh, freedom of entry unrestricted naman unrestricted din yung monopolistic competition so oligopoly restricted kasi yung mga ingredients yan yun nga yung um yung information restricted sa pure monopoly restricted and completely blocked ayan syempre di naman yun nga, katulad sa Microsoft, hindi naman ata nila basta-basta and we release yung, at saka ang hirap niyang gayahin. Ayan, ang hirap niyang, ano, ang hirap niyang gayahin. Nature of product, homogenous, undifferentiated. Differentiate, ano, sa monopolistic naman, differentiated. And sa pure monopoly, ayan, unique. Kumbaga, wala siyang katulad. Yeah. So, ito yung mga example sa so, pure competition, mga cabbage, carrots. Ah, ito yung mga parang mga talipapa. Talipapa, mga ganun. Sa monopolistic builders, convenience stores. Oligopoly, mga cement cars, electrical appliances. And then, sa Pure Monopoly, local water company. Yan. Example din yung ano, yun nga, yung Meralco, yung mga ganun. Yung tipong kahit magtaas sila ng presyo, wala tayong magagawa kasi sila lang yung nagpo-produce ng ganun. Implication of, uh, implications for demand curve. Horizontal. Yan. Firm is a price taker. Downward sloping naman for the monopolistic competition, but relatively elastic. Sa oligopoly naman, downward sloping, relatively in- inelastic. <clears throat> Yan. So, shape depends on the reactions of the rivals. For pure monopoly, downward sloping din. Uh, more inelas- uh, in- uh, inelastic than oligopoly. Firm has considerable control over price. Yun nga, syempre, ang meral po, ayan, pag nagtas sila na presyo, wala tayong magagawa kasi sila lang naman yung nagpo-produce ng ano na yan eh, ng, ng kuryente. Dati sa internet naman, ayan, hawak ng ano eh, ng globe ng PLDT ngayon ang dami ng mga mga ser uh, mga server or mga internet provider ang nagsisitayuan ngayon. Pumasok na ang Converge. Ayan, meron na meron na tayong mga in dito. Ayan. kaya dati nung wala pang competition ng ano, ang globe, PLDT at Smart kahit, kahit sobrang palpak ng ng wifi ng internet connection nila wala tayong magawa ganun pa din yung presyo nila kahit sobrang pangat pa ng serbisyo nila yan market conduct of your policies towards its market and towards the move made by its uh, rival in that market So, may mga pri- uh, din din, uh, apektado din dito yung mga pricing behavior, product strategy, strategy ng mga firms, research and innovations, and advertising, legal tactics. So, per- pag- perfect competition. Yan. <clears throat> so, 
Okay, so di natin ito sakop. Hanggang market structure lang tayo. Okay, so yun nga, again, hinapin na tayo matapos. Okay, so when we say again, monopoly, ayan, a, a monopoly is a market structure in which there is only one producer, seller for a product. In other words, the single business is the industry. Yan, yun nga, uh, best example nga yung Microsoft. Yan yung mga Meralco, Maynilad, pero sa ibang lugar, Meron din naman silang provider ng tubig pero more likely parang madalas iisa lang. Yan. So entry to such a market is restricted due to high cost and other uh, impediments which may be economic, social, or political. So yun nga, um, pumapasok din ng government sa pagtatayo ng firma to. And also yung investment or yung capital, sobrang laki. Siyempre equipment, no? especially sa mga, kung ngayon sa electricity provider natin, and medyo mahal, malaki yung pagpapagawa, malaki yung investment ng Meralco doon. And so for instance, a government can create a monopoly over an industry that it wants to control. So such as electricity. Though nag nag ano nag set ng high price ang Meralco, pumapasok pa din ng government doon. Kasi hindi nila pa din sobrang taasan. So may control, kumbaga nag set parang uh, nagko-compromise sila or nag-limit sila halfway kung ano lang yung price na dapat i-set ng Meralco or ng electricity. Yeah, no. And syempre, uh, katulad ng mga electricity din natin at mga ano ng mga ng mga tubig ayan, yung mga local water company, isa rin sa barriers kung bakit hindi sila basta-basta makakapasok. Syempre, kailangan nila ng um, permission from the government sa paggamit ng mga natural resources natin. Kasi syempre involved yun eh. Ayan, for example, sa electricity, yung water Ayan, yung mga hydro na ano na electricity, parang nakakapag-generate ng um ng kuryente through um movement of the water. Ayan. Aside from ano mga solar panels. So ang advantage pag nasa pure monopoly ka, Ayan, siyempre, kahit mamamaximize mo yung profit eh. And wala kang kalaban. Ayan. So again naman, sa oligopoly naman, ayan, in, in an oligopoly, there are only few firms that make up an industry. Few firms. Ayan. So this uh, select group of firms has control over the price. Ayan, ayan yung tinatawag na mga price leaders. And uh, like monopoly, an oligopoly has a higher or high barriers to entry. The products that oligopolistic firms produce are more often nearly identical and therefore the companies which are competing for market shares are interdependent as a result of market forces. Yeah, so for example, yun nga, yung, mga, um, yung mga malalaking firm o yung mga higanting firms or companies na nagpo-produce ng mga basic needs natin. Yun yung example nun. Yan. So, pag, pag nasa oligopoly ka, instead na price taker ka, unlike ng perfect competition, price, ter price taker sila ang mga uh, perfect competition. Well, sa oligopoly naman, sila yung price setter, price leaders, okay? 
So sa perfect competition naman, again, is characterized by many buyers and sellers, many products that are similar in nature, and as a result, many substitute. Yan. Perfect competition means there are few or in the, if any bar barriers to entry for new companies and the price are determined by supply and demand. Thus, producers in a perfectly comp competitive market are subject to price determined by the market and do not have any leverages or leverage. So for example, in a perfectly competitive market, yeah, should a firm decide to increase its selling price for a good, a consumer can adjust turn to the nearest competitor for a better price. So for example, yun nga, sa mga pwede pa pa, pag, ayan, pag dinaasa ng isang, ng isang, ano, ng isang, uh, tinda, tindera ang kanyang paninda, lilipat na lang sa ibang ano, lilipat na lang sa ibang tindahan. Kaya sila tinatawag na price taker para pababaan natin sila ng presyo. Yan. So, Lastly, ito naman, yan last na, sa monopolistic competition, when we say monopolistic competition, it is a type of imperfect competition, no? such that one or two producers sell products that are uh, differentiated from one another as goods but not perfect substitute, such as um, branding, quality, or location. In monopolistic competition, a firm takes the price prices charged by its rivals as given and ignores the impact of its own prices on the prices of other firms. You know, so firms can behave like mono, uh, monopolies in the short run, including by using market power to generate profit. But in the long run, yan, pag matagal -tagal na, the fi other firms enter the market and the benefits of differentiation decreases the competition. Okay. So yo, may questions, may questions kayo? Okay. Any questions? Wala naman. Okay naman. Madali lang naman to. Parang napag-aralan nyo naman na to nung high school. Parang recap na lang natin. Okay. So, I guess we can dismiss na since it's 11.50. 11.50 na. Okay, bye guys. See you tomorrow.